good evening, everybody. I'm Crow Mish here. Where you brought today is another video. Now, this is a video that should have been put out, you know, two weeks ago, but I've been real busy, um, so I do apologize for that. But this is going to be more of like information of the combat aspect of Glorious Victus, and they've updated it. So I'll, I'll definitely, you know, uh, go over with what they've updated. You know, look at the change logs, look at the updates, um, and see see what they've done. Maybe do a video about that. But um, there's also one really important thing before I go ahead and get into this is I would like you all to uh, check out the next channel update video. It is very important. I have a few questions that I want you as the community to, to answer because, you know, this channel would not be where it is without all of you. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So essentially, you know, in Glor Glorious Victus, you know, your, your main way to, to level up is uh, to, to do combat as well as this is how you get crafting items it is uh, to do, you know, combat. You you need you need crafting uh, blueprints. You need to level up. It, uh, however, your gear matters more than your level itself, in my opinion. Um, and uh, it's it, this is this is a very good way. Now, if you do not want to craft, this is also how you get gear because. Um, certain NPCs also drop equipment more than just the blueprints. So if you don't want to do the crafting whatsoever, you just want to, you know, get uh, get on by with with just just the gear, and you either have somebody make it for you, or you just want to get it off people. You know, that's that's what you want to do. And it is uh, very interesting on on that. the The combat is nice. It's not as smooth. As it should. Um, I do apologize if you hear that. That was my phone going off. But anyways, um, it's not as smooth as it once as it will be as soon as you know the the uh, the new animations come out, which I'm really excited for, and I really cannot wait for it. So uh, it's that's definitely going to be one of those um, I can't wait for it moments, and I, I really hope that they follow through with it, uh, and actually to see you know how how well it it, it works. And everything and it is so far you know looking at the trailers and occasionally catching um, a dev talk about it here and there it's coming along nice and it's uh, very very interesting um, so I just I, I really really cannot wait to, to see and uh, see what happens with it so that's that's gonna be really really nice um, <clears throat> Now there's NPCs all over the map. You're essentially you're going to it's like any other MMO. You're going to one area, you're killing a bunch of NPCs. Going to the other area, you're killing those NPCs, and you're you know you're doing that. And um, like right now, you just saw me die. Uh, you can respond to your town, your main town, or the closest settlement. Um, and even it doesn't matter if a player kills you or if an NPC kills you, you can still be looted, which is very interesting. The looting system in this game is really nice, and um, it's kind of it's a little hard to do at times, but it it is very interesting. I, I think they've nailed it on you know how how to to the looting system. I think they've done a, a great job on that. That way, um, you know you're not totally losing everything, or you're possibly not losing anything at all, and you can lose a little bit or you can take off of other people and it's uh it's it's very interesting so far the game i'm i'm very mesmerized with the gameplay i i think this is so far one of the best uh medieval uh error mmos that is to this date um i hope it gets very popular and i can't wait to see you know more of it and I think it's going to be, you know, a very, very interesting game when it gets close to uh, completion, as well as more people, you know, join. So, here, here's what I know so far. Um, it is, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Like, uh, one thing I, I like to do is I like to go towards like extremely high level um, NPCs. Because what uh, what you can do is if you can kill them, you know you can kite them well, or you can block. You can kill very high level NPCs, and they'll give you, um, you know, of, of course, better standings to the faction, but also very good XP. And I think that's that's a great way to to level um, to do leveling right now. Not really kill things your level, but go things a little bit uh, quite above, especially if you're in a party. Um, being in a party in this game is is really nice. It is 
uh, this this game runs on it. I mean, you don't. Yeah, you can be you can be a lone wolf. You can be the lone badass. But if you want, um, and it's best to uh, be uh, in a, in a group and, and do things as a group, whether that be go take uh, a castle, a town, go go do a raiding party, or just you know go grind and, and level up or get blueprints or equipment or whatever. Um, it's very interesting when you find a group that you like and and you can play with this. This this game is really group friendly. It's really uh, encouraged to be played together and that's what I really like about this and I think this game has done a fantastic job on how they've done it. Um, you know another game I'm gonna pull off the top of my head uh, like Black Desert Online. That's meant to be played together and I think they've done a great job with it although <clears throat> there's some things that they could fix but that's not what this video is about. This video is more more or less just bare basics, little information about you know the combat there isn't a whole lot that that can be really given here other than you know you just go out look at the map go kill um, and that that's it you know like I said there's different level NPCs at different parts of the map and you can go them they drop different blueprints different equipment it gives more XP there's some uh, world bosses right now and event bosses I don't like how they've set this up so far the world bosses are just the uh, giants and the event bosses you know are things where you get like the best equipment that can drop as far as I know or the better the better equipment I should say and you must do it during an event and it usually goes to one side or the other so it makes it really difficult to get things like that but you know it's this, this game still in early early access is still early alpha it can change at any time and I really hope they do I would really like to see a change of the event bosses and how they're done because it's just a little difficult to get the blueprints with things like that um, but the main change that I, I can't oh um, they also changed this however you just saw me resting underwater you're you can sit underwater or you used to be able to you used to be able to sit underwater and regain your stamina and really I mean if you go out deep in the ocean nobody can really hurt you and it, it was it was a really cheese way for PvP and everything it was really interesting they fixed that though like uh, they now fixed as that I said earlier in the video um, please 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 check out the new channel update video that will be coming up right after this very shortly um, I'm sorry that the information in this probably wasn't as what you're expecting, but this has to do with the new channel update video as well, so please definitely check it out. I'll see you guys later.